Hello my frugal friends and welcome to the biggest grocery haul. We're gonna cover week three of March. You will not believe how much stuff I got. I've got the receipt to show you how much money I've spent. Prepare to be amazed. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Da 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 da. Yep. <laughs> This is all I grabbed for this week. Two more gallons of milk, a bunch of bananas, and I didn't technically need this, but um, it was on clearance at the bakery for $1.99. I thought it would go great with our potato soup for dinner tonight. Total, I spent today $14.37. Not too shabby, huh? That is my March week three grocery haul. Hanging out at about $150 for the month so far. Hey, so sorry that video did not go up yet. That was from about a week and a half ago, like 10 days ago. I do need to go back to the grocery store, so I'm just gonna add, you know, the rest of March onto this video. So we've got about $40 to work with or so. And I noticed that on Ibotta, they have some good deals. So let me show them to you. I'm pretty happy about this uh, at Walmart, which is definitely not my favorite store, okay. Sometimes they have great deals. Let me show you the things I'm loving from the Ibotta uh, Walmart right now. 75 cents back on the La La Smoothie four pack, you see that? My kids adore those. And then these Malto Meal cereals is a dollar back. My Walmart has peelies on them, like a dollar off one cereal. Like what? I can typically find these for about $3 at my Walmart in these big pallets in the center. So with the $1 I bought a and the $1 coupon, which you can put together, it will make the huge 36 ounce bag of cereal a dollar after the $2 comes off, which is awesome. And then this one is pretty good only if, hold up, get in there. This Cliff Granola, $1.25 back. This one's good if the Checkout 51 still has it also. So let me pull that up and see if it's on here. Because if you can combine both cash back rebates, you can get back $2.25 each. Yes, they are still on here. So I'm on Checkout 51. It's a different app. And you see you can do like one of each flavor or, or a couple of each flavor. So that's $2.25 back. I think they're $4.50 at Walmart. So you'll pay like $2.25 for this nice big bag of yummy granola. So let's add these. And we gotta make a meal plan for when my brother comes in a couple days. So what we should do is call him. I don't know if his kids have allergies or severe dislikes or, or that kind of stuff. Hey, Writing up like a meal plan kind of a thing for when you're here. So I just wanted yeah. to know if you guys like are allergic to anything. If you just look, really hate some things. It's an asparagus. I don't like it. Okay, uh, I will not do asparagus. We're not, we're not allergic to anything except for Christy is allergic to shellfish. I will not do fish. They're kids, so they like stupid meals. Right, like stupid like, easy kind of stuff. Yeah, like hot dogs and... Yeah, yeah, let me know. I hope that's okay. <laughs> that well that would have been awkward if you had showed up and I would I'd have been like, wait! <laughs> I thought it was tomorrow. We're here. <laughs> okay, bye Bye. So meal plans for my brother. I have some freezer meals already. I have a lasagna that's ready to go. I have a chicken tetrazzini that's ready to go, and I have frozen barbecue pork stuff like meat already like for pork sandwiches. So the things we're going to need for that is we're gonna need some buns. I'll definitely need milk. I'll definitely need bananas. But I actually don't need too much because of the freezer meals. And this is like exactly why I do freezer meals. So we're gonna head to the store in a little bit, pick up my Ibotta deals, maybe some other veggies if I see a good deal, maybe some frozen veggies, I'm not sure yet. Let's go to Hades, AKA Walmart. So my Walmart is always out of what I want, always. And I wanted two poblanos today and it's typical, always. So here's what my Walmart looks like with the $3 Malto meal. It's always in the center. It's not on the regular aisle. 
and then I found these three dollars off three so that already takes a dollar off making them two dollars and then the one dollar I bought it makes them a dollar a bag which is amazing for as big as these are here's a pretty good I bought a deal for you these Gatorade whey protein bars a dollar back you can do five of them and my Walmart has them for a dollar 48 and this one's a dollar 44 um, each so once the dollar comes off you know 44 cents a bar that's actually really good so I'm gonna pick some of those up okay let's go see what the damage is you guys a little nervous so I wanted to document how this went because holy mother my total was high <laughs> but I had a lot of Ibotta stuff and I wanted to make sure like it all worked before I left and everything like that. So my total was $108 and then they added tax back into that. I do pay tax on my food here in Idaho, which stinks. So my total after tax is $115. And I did get a couple of face washes, uh, which was like $10, you know, $105 or something like that. So let's scan on the Ibotta app. And let's see how we do finding offers. So I'm going to scan it on <coughs> Ibotta, Checkout 51, and Fetch Rewards. I'll do Fetch Rewards next. 27 matched offers. Okay, I got five back for the Malto meal. Okay, so I'm getting back 32.51 right now. There it goes. Let's math a little bit. So I had 115 minus 10 for the face wash minus 32, what did I say it was? 32.51, Ibotta. Let's do Fetch Rewards now, which I super like. I'm so close to getting like an Amazon gift card on Fetch Rewards. I'm gonna use that to pay for my watch. Okay, I didn't get a whole lot from Fetch Rewards, like 100 points. Now let's do Checkout 51. That's gonna be, hang on, I gotta go scan it. And $5 back on Checkout 51. So if you guys want to see the Checkout 51, I'll leave a link in the description box for you. I think they do a referral thingy now. What do they give you? You both get money back. Okay, cool. So we'll try that out. See if it works for you guys. If you guys want to check out the Checkout 51 cash back app. So those are the three I mainly use. I really don't go beyond that. And I rarely use Checkout 51. Just sometimes when they have one that kind of like matches up with another one. So I got $5 back from that. So my total for this trip, which was more than I meant it to be, honestly, was $67.49. That totally puts me over for March. Shoot, that's okay. I think that's okay, because I did buy some extra things for like my brother coming into town. $67.49. After all of the rebate apps, if you want to try any of them and you haven't yet, I bought a Checkout 51 or Fetch Rewards. I have all of the referrals down below. Uh, I think they all give you a bonus if you sign up through my link and then redeem your first rebate, which is sweet. I will say I splurged on some stuff. You'll see. You'll see when we get home and I'll show you all of the goods. Don't you worry. It's big. It put me over budget by about $17 or so. Uh, let's go through it really quick. This is all from Wally's World. So let's start over here with the cereal. I showed you guys this in the store. I did grab six of these because the coupon was $3 off of three, even though the Ibotta only had five. It's okay because some of these were $2.87 instead of $3. Like this was $2.87, this was $2.87. So it ended up being 87 cents, which is amazing. So I paid $2 for one of them and then like a dollar or less for the rest. There's my face washes I picked up. A lot of these other things are not only Ibotta deals, but also, you know, my, my brother's coming with all the kids, so I've got eight kids to feed, four adults, and Haley has a volleyball tournament on Saturday, and her and Dave are gonna be there all day, and I'm starting to learn what she likes to eat during a tournament. I did get my maximum of five of these whey protein bars. The peanut butter chocolate was 44 cents each, and these are like a straight up meal replacement. These are 360 calories each. This is not like a snack, <laughs> that's like a meal. Um, three of the treetop apple sauces, there was an Ibotta for these. I thought Haley could take a package of those for the tournament, and then there are gonna be some younger kids, they might like that. 
I don't know that I'm gonna get the La La smoothies again. My Walmart bumped the price by a dollar. So I paid $2.50 each four pack instead of the $1.50 that I normally pay, which is really frustrating. So this was a huge expense for me. Haley loves these. Actually, all my kids adore these. So Haley will probably take a case on Saturday for the tournament. And this was a buy one, get one free kind of a situation. So this was also about two, 225. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do these orange pineapple. I grabbed four gallons of milk. My milk was 219 a gallon at my Walmart. Hopefully that will be enough to feed all of the children. And I probably shouldn't have gotten these knowing that I was gonna be close, but I saw these huge 12 packs for 262. You know, I thought all of the kids would really like these for lunches while they're here. Sour cream, cause I'm out. Three things of hamburger buns for the pulled pork sandwiches for dinner. Some bananas, just for snacks for all the kids. Here's all my Cliff granolas. I, what did I say I paid for these? 225 a package for the granolas. Dave has really been enjoying these with a yogurt for a snack, like a bedtime snack or at work or something. And they're all super good. The blueberry smells amazing. Some dinner ingredientes, some cilantro, a jalapeno. Um, where's my other peppers? Okay, okay. You've got to be kidding me. I bought, <laughs> dang it Walmart. Oh my gosh, I bought two Anaheim peppers to put in my white chicken chili for tonight. Dang it. Oh my word. It had better be in one of those bags over there. Otherwise, I'm gonna be really irritated. Ugh, bleh. the cilantro's for that. The limes are for that. The jalapeno's for that. Uh, I grabbed the cucumbers and peppers and carrots to chop up and have as snacks to go with lunches while uh, the family is here and then also for Haley's tournament. She really likes to munch on veggies with ranch. I'm excited to see how April's gonna go. I have a video coming up next week on my meal plan for April using up pantry items. How are you guys doing on your grocery budget so far? Are you going over like me? Are you staying under? Are you hitting your goals? Tell me all of the details in the comments, please. If you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you guys wanna see any other videos about this uh, challenge, click down here, over here if you wanna subscribe. Hit that bell so you don't miss anything I do in the future and I'll see you guys in the next video.